Everybody, welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane. This is my jam. I have another unboxing for you today. And this unboxing is well, actually it's two people's faults, and I you know I have to lay the blame where it's due. So um in one respect this is kind of Autumn Beckman's fault because um you know she tagged me for the color, you know, power color thing um tag and it made me realize that um I just don't think that I had enough bags that were my color my my uh power my power color um and this is Cammy's fault from Cammy's closet yes it is because she told me about these bags being on sale so I went and looked, and I do not know how to pronounce the name of this company. I'm not going to lie. Is it Pro, Proenza Sco, Scholar? I know we've all seen these bags. Um, Proenza, it's like P-R-O-E-N-Z-A, and then S-C-H-O-U-L-E-R. So, um, I've never bought anything from them, so I wanted to do the, have a true unboxing so you could see how everything came. Now, the thing that was really confusing about this was I bought this off of what was their website. They are having a huge sale right now. The items are still on sale last time I checked. Um, the bag that I got was over 60% off. And, um, and so what was weird though is I've been waiting for it to come. I got an update from UPS that it was coming, but then next thing I know, my UPS item states that it's shipping from Farfetch, and I didn't buy this off the Farfetch website, although the Farfetch website does also have these on sale. So um, I am going to do a true unboxing. We'll see what it says inside, but this was bought off their website directly, not Farfetched from the companies. Such a comedian. Okay. So, yeah. Another invoice in here. Okay. So, yeah. Cammy told me about this. I had never bought a bag from this company. I had thought about it a few times because they are pretty reasonably priced on Fashion File. And then I checked, and the price that they were on sale for was cheaper than what I seen them for on Fashion File used. So I decided to get one. So it comes like this. Now here's the, you can see the name a little bit better here. Proenza Scholar. So here's the bag. Now, Cammy told me, she's like, Oh, yeah, they had this one, and it was like, you know, she gave me the price on it. And I'm like, no way. There's no way that's what it was. And that was a good price for a bay, but um, I didn't want the one that, that she showed. I had have a bigger one. So I got, here's my bag. So it's a nice dust jacket, a real nice, like, canvas, heavy dust jacket. It's got, you can probably see some of it. It's got things you can pull here, but you probably saw here. I got... bag. And do I know what it's called? No, of course not. Because I never know what they're called. Why, why would you? <laughs> um, let's see. I have a green bag. Right. That's that's what it is. Oh, let's see if it says. Oh, now see it says importer was far-fetched. That's really interesting to me. That seems um, far-fetched. It does, right? Um, let's see. Does this have a name on what it's called? Probably flipping it around, you probably can see my address and everything. And one, two, three South Main Street. Yes, that's right. Um, okay, I don't know the name of the bag, but it's on their website and it's on sale. And they have a ton of other colors. Like they had a blue that I almost got, and they had a um, orange. But what this is is this is. Um, like suede on the outside here. 
it, it's lambskin, lambskin, lambskin and suede. Maybe it's suede lambskin. I don't know, but it's all suede on the outside here, which I adore. There is a slip pocket in the back. It has a top handle, and it's interesting. It looks like there's like um, slots to put a belt through, but there's not. I mean, it, they don't go all the way through. There is silver hardware. You lift this up like this, and let's see, are these real? Yes. You slide these out. Let's see how you open this, because I still don't know. And apparently they're sewn together. No. Okay, so you slide those out, and then you open it this way. So it doesn't open right here. This is just a flap. It opens like this. Oh, maybe this will say what it is. No. Okay. No, Jamie, it still doesn't say what it is. So um, inside here is just a big compartment. It's got a canvas lining, which also says the name of the company on it here. There is a zipper pocket in here. Does this say what it's called? I don't think so. I think these are care instructions that come with it. So there's one zip pocket. There's a huge dip, um, part compartment there. There is a snap compartment here as well. It's, again, all silver hardware. So it just opens and closes like that. Then you can tuck these in or out, I guess, as you want to. But it comes with a strap here. Let's see. The strap. Okay. So the strap is the suede on one side. And then the other side's just the smooth calfskin. The, um strap is removable and adjustable it also has the silver hardware it's got neat details like if you look like right here where it attaches it just looks really cool right there to that extra detail i think that's cool so um yeah you could carry it as a top handle um you could carry it on your arm i mean i got big arms and they go right through um and you can use your strap that I'm tangling up. Um, so yeah, this is my bag. I wish I could remember what it was called. I think they all had like the same, stop shaking your head. They all had like the same, um, the same name, but one was a mini, one was like, like a micro a mini. And, um, I was worried that this might be a little too big, but no, I'm really happy with the size. It reminds me a lot of the Bichette Matisse. Let me just grab that just to kind of show you reference. So here are the two together side. Here's the backs. Um, the bottoms, I guess. So I would say that they're about identical. I would say that this probably can hold a little more because it doesn't have the same set of compartments in it, like um, the Louis Vuitton Bouchette Matisse does. And I would say that it closes much easier than the Pichette Matisse with just the little um, closure as I drop my Pichette Matisse right on the ground. Don't do that at home, folks. Um, but it definitely has an easier open and close with just this little piece here to open and close like that. It um, has a better top handle. The back does not have a zipper on the Pro and uh, bag. Can I just call it like a PS? Or was that the? Yeah, that's the initials. Oh my gosh. Um, so if you want a great duplicate for a Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse at way, way less of a cost, um, I would highly recommend this bag. I I think I want to say it was six hundred dollars on sale, and they're normally around two thousand, um, or just over two thousand. So it was a great sale. It was um, I guess you want to get it on sale if it's going to be a good compromise, compromise bag. But um, they do have a lot of these, not a lot, but a good amount on Fashion File, and um, I am just super pleased. 
I haven't used it yet. It's definitely not as structured. You didn't use it before you got it? No. Mm -mm. So, no. And, and it's definitely less structured, so there's no organizer in here, and you can tell it's going to kind of fold in on itself. Um, but stuffed, I'm sure it would be great, or, you know, with this, your, your stuff and your purse in it. And um, I just love the color. There's a dark blue, like I said, that I really like, too. It's almost like a bluish purple. And there's an orange, and I might take it and hurt some of these because um I love this and I love the suede um I just love how you can rub your finger and then it changes colors it's a little thing sometimes and um yeah so I'm gonna get an organizer for this one I would say that uh like the pochette Matisse organizer probably fit will fit in here okay um but yeah that's my newest bag my newest bag for my green collection because green's my power color. So I needed more of a green bag. Mm. Or more green bags, especially like this. This Kelly green. She's pretty, isn't she? The bag with no name. That's right. I'll put the name in the description box below. I am, man, you, could, you know, I'm all about the bags. Not the name. <laughs> Is that quiet luxury when you don't know the names of your bags? It's one way to think it's one about way it. One way to think of it, you know. So anyways, I'm really excited. I was so excited this came today. I was not planning on filming, um, but I did. See, I got a shirt on that matches my car. My car is an orange challenger, but um, in orange and green, my two power colors together. But no, I just, it, this came today. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't sure what I was getting because I didn't know why I was getting something from Farfetch. Um, but now I'm super excited that I got it and um, wanted to show everybody because the sale is still going on. So run, don't walk over to, um, over to pro. Just go to your computer. Pro, yeah, Proenza, Scholler, Scholler, and take a look at their bags though. They're, they're awesome. They smell good. Um, and I'm just super excited about this bag. So wanted to show it to you. I, I just never seen a company put their bags on sale for like 60 and 70% off before, but it would make sense because don't some of these places throw their bags out or burn them or something so this is a much better way to, to handle your bags um yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching um please leave a comment down below love interacting with everybody in the comments if you are not subscribed please consider subscribing i am trying so hard to get to a thousand and i know some of you really want me to get to a thousand because the guy behind the camera is going to come on once I hit a thousand subscribers. I also have a giveaway coming up. I will be doing a video on that shortly to let you know what the giveaway is going to be. Um, you can find me over on Instagram. I am at James Jam over there. It's J-A-M-E underscore S underscore Jam. Uh, please like this video if you liked it. And until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.